everyone, it's Katrina, the owner of COS Marketing Agency here to talk about Yelp marketing. So what industries are best for Yelp marketing? Well, it just kind of depends on your goals and what you're looking to get out of it, right? But Yelp in general is more suited for local audiences. And in particular, restaurants, bars, clubs, uh, financial related businesses like tax companies, notaries, um, things like that, financial um, literacy companies, things like that, or maybe retail shopping related companies. So what do these all have in common? Well, these are places that you show up in person, uh, more than likely locally in your area, and it involves some level of customer service and trust. So trust building is super important when it comes to Yelp. That's why people are there, is to look at the reviews. Um, and Yelp has a very large audience and it's a very consistently month to month, year to year growing app, particularly among older audiences, 25, 30 and up. And it has a niche market. So that means people who are more focused on Yelp than other sites, they're really in particular looking at the overall ratings that you have, how much content you have on there. It's a niche audience that looks to Yelp before other places, maybe even like Google. So yes, they are smaller in comparison to something like maybe Facebook or Instagram, but that's not such a bad thing because you're talking about literally millions and millions of different people who are active on Yelp. Um, at a certain point, did you need, do you need to be on a site because there's billions of people or you know something that's considered small millions that still probably works for you unless you are already on such a large scale that that's not enough and if that's the case you're probably already active on Yelp. All right so what else is a, a pro for Yelp? Well Yelp's going to help you with your organic search ranking. A lot of SEO companies are catching on to this and they're putting their clients on Yelp especially if they have bar restaurants or any of the other industries that we talked about. So it helps if organic search ranking, Google likes seeing reviews, not just on Google itself, but other sites. It adds credibility to you guys. The more people are talking about you, the more people are discussing their experience, the better. And listen, you're not gonna please everybody. You're eventually, in the history of your business, I hope you guys have your business for decades and decades, you're gonna come across some people that are not the happiest or you can't help them and or maybe they leave a four star rating instead of that that five star rating, the dreaded four star rating, right? Those people who say, well, nothing's perfect, so we'll do four stars. It's gonna happen, you know? However, keep in mind, that's realistically what every business faces, especially in a digital world, right? Where so many people are coming and going, that's normal. So I've heard a lot of people say, hey, I'm discouraged of the idea of going on Yelp because I'm just worried I'm gonna get a, a bad review. Listen, it, it's possible, but you can't, uh, you can't change people and you can't guarantee a positive review even if you did the best service possible and somebody left with a smile on their face, just the way it goes. Either way, it adds credibility and recognition to your business. Because I'll tell you what, if nobody's talking about you online, you don't exist. It's just simply how it is in, in this world. If you don't have reviews and people are not talking uh, about you online, it adds less credibility, not more even versus somebody who has the occasional bad review. Now, of course, if you're getting bad reviews all the time, you gotta look internally. Is your, uh, are your staff not pleasant? Is your product and service, does it need some fine tuning? There's certainly always, um, looking within is, is always a good idea, especially if you're a business owner, right? Other things to keep in mind related to Yelp that a lot of you may not know. So Yelp and Twitter has a, an overlap there. They have a very similar audience. So if you are already active on Twitter, you might find that Yelp is easier for you than if you're not. And if you are active on Twitter, which is now called X as of uh, probably about a week before this filming, X is a good place for you if you're also on Yelp and vice versa. So that crossover there, that's another thing to keep in mind, a little pro tip that might help you get an edge. Also, what's going to help you gain an edge on Yelp is optimization. You want to optimize that profile, make sure it's fully filled out, and you're regularly putting content on there. 
you want to make sure that you are active on the platform because the least active you are the least likely yelp is going to show your profile organically to other people or you're going to come up when they're searching for companies in their area so that's another thing to keep in mind and there are ways to boost that visibility on the platform yelp offers ads like a lot of these other major companies do and um, what most service-based companies do especially restaurants and bars they typically run ads on multiple sites and yelp being a major contributor to that um, i think if you have a restaurant especially and you want to do even a, just a small campaign on yelp locally to test it out it would be worth it you know maybe you spend five to ten dollars a day on on a local ad see how it does on yelp and that would that would make total sense and you would probably um, get a decent response from that. I would also say incorporating Google Business Profile in that case would make sense as well, if you are a local restaurant, that is. Other things to keep in mind about Yelp is you really got to understand your audience, right? Just like any other marketing campaign on any site, you have to know your audience, you have to put yourself in their shoes and understand what their problems are so that you can provide the best solution possible for them. At the end of the day, people are just people. They care about their problems and how to solve them. So if you become that informational resource to them, that authority figure online that they are looking for, they will thank you in not just likes and follows and comments and reviews, they will thank you in business. For, by giving you their business, they will refer you to their friends and their family. So keep that in mind. Always give value of everything that you post or do online. Make sure you do that in your comments. Thank people for their response. Be active with your followers because they can always go somewhere else. And they are contributing to your business. And people can see that publicly. They notice those things. They go in the comments and they look at those things. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, brief segue. We have just launched a YouTube sponsorship, which means if you want to get your advertisement in our videos, and we reach hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people a year, um, if you want to advertise in our videos, contact us at 407-334-9378. That's 407-334-9378. Or... You can email us at cosmarketingagency at gmail.com, cosmarketingagency at gmail.com. Now, we're also taking on clients who want us to coach them to help them with marketing or to have us do it for them. As well, we do coaching and full-service digital marketing. It's been great talking to you guys. We look forward to speaking with you soon. And again, that phone number is 407-334-9378.